Do you want to know what pages or posts your visitors are landing on and have higher customer or subscriber conversion rates? Well, knowing that is going to give you insight on how to optimize them and improve your results. In this video, we're going to show you two ways that you can track your landing pages. First, we'll show you the easy method using Monster Insights, and then we'll look at the manual method using Google Analytics, which is a bit more complicated, especially if you're a beginner. Let's dive right in. In this first method, we're going to look at how to track landing page conversions with Monster Insights. Monster Insights integrates easily with Google Analytics. You don't have to mess with any code, and you can see your reports right on your WordPress dashboard. With just a few clicks, you'll be able to see the pages or posts that are performing better than the rest, and you'll be able to use that data to optimize your landing pages that aren't doing so well and boost your conversions. Now, to view your top landing pages in Monster Insights, log into your WordPress site. And on the admin sidebar, Hover your mouse over Insights, and then click on Reports. Now you'll see the Overview Report. So scroll down, and you'll see a list of your top posts and pages. Now, conversions can mean different things based on your website. If you have an e-commerce store, conversions would be the number of products that have been bought by visitors. Where, on the other hand, if you're running a blog website, conversions could be the number of visitors that subscribe to your email newsletter, download an ebook, or fill out a form. Now, that's where Monster Insights makes the process of tracking landing page conversions simple, no matter what type of site that you have. With the Monster Insights e-commerce add-on that's available in the Pro Package, you can track the landing page conversions of your online store. And along with the e-commerce tracking, you can track custom dimensions, authors, SEO, logged in users, form conversions, file downloads, and a lot more. You can use the e-commerce add-on to see your store's performance to do that, just click on the e-commerce report and you can see your store's conversions, transactions, revenue, and average order value. And if you scroll down, you'll see even more tracking conversion reports. You'll see the data, such as sources bringing in visitors and how much that they're contributing to your revenue. Now, suppose you have different forms on your site. Well, then you'll want to track their conversion rate. In that case, you'll want to use Monster Insights form tracking add-on that comes with a pro plan. It works with any WordPress form plugin like WP Forms. The form tracking add-on automates form tracking, so you won't have to manually create tracking for each form in Google Analytics. And to view your forms report, just click on Forms, and you can see the data about views and conversions of your forms. And you can use that data to optimize your forms so you can generate more leads. All right, now let's look at the second method, tracking landing pages in Google Analytics. Keep in mind that not every visitor arrives on your homepage. If the first page they see, or in other words, the landing page, doesn't provide first-time visitors with what they're looking for or help them understand your products or services, then most likely you're going to start losing a lot of conversions. So knowing what pages or posts they're landing on is important. Now you can easily sort the landing pages by the number of sales, revenue, or conversions. This data can help you learn what kind of content works best on your site. Well, suppose your conversion rates are lower than what you'd hoped for. In that case, you can focus your efforts on optimizing those particular pages and prioritizing those with the most traffic. Just keep in mind that before you can view your landing pages in Google Analytics, you'll have to set up goals or e-commerce tracking. Now, to learn how to create a goal in Google Analytics to track conversions and how to enable e-commerce tracking in Google Analytics, be sure you see the links in the description. If you've already done that, then all you have to do is log into your Google Analytics account. Then select the website that you'd like to see the data for. Then click on Behavior, then Site Content, and then Landing Pages in the left panel. Now you can see your landing page report. It's sorted by popularity. Now to view which landing pages are leading to the most goal conversions, select a specific goal from the drop-down menu, and you'll see the results in the Conversions column. Now you can sort the table by conversion rate or the number of conversions by clicking on the tab. So, for example, you can sort them by the number of conversions. Now, to view which of your landing pages are leading to the most e-commerce sales, just select e-commerce from the drop-down menu in the conversions column. Now, you can sort the table by transactions or revenue by clicking on the tab. And there you have it, how to track landing page conversions with Google Analytics. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get Monster Insights at a discounted price, so be sure to check out the discount link in the description and to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click on one of the videos on your screen now.